Good day, Lords and Ladies. Welcome back to Battle Brothers Blazing Desert DLC. The Civil War is closing down, um, unfortunately. It is a shame. I had hoped um, to take part in it, but that is just the roll of the dice sometimes. Grab some more. F I'm going to grab some supplies. If there's no work here that interests me, um, parcel delivery. Maybe. Escort caravan. Uh, no. In the middle of us, if the holy wars, unlikely. News has come that Galad once again conquered the ancient city. Right here. Um, this is one thing I will say about the civil wars, or oh, the civil, the holy wars, is that it's one of those events where if you're low level like I am, okay. So I take it our equipment is getting jacked from being out in the desert. Okay, that's good to know. I was hoping we could uh, find some of the holy places and stuff. That would be cool. I don't know what's out here. So I thought we'd go and have a exploration. Got four days worth of food, so we should have enough food. Patrols. Battles. Okay, there's the ancient city. The ancient city. Empire's End, Monopolis of Ash, the Annihilated. Whatever its name, the ancient city is now a vast grey ruin. It sits beneath a mountain, missing a peak. Its once glorious shape obliterated enormous erupts, and the explosion hit with such violence that shock waves unfurled cobble streets and sent bricks souring the, over the city proper. Enormous granite boulders created, na created, created neighborhoods and whole, whole and boiling debris vaporized all the way. The floor of lava came last, smoldering much, smothering much of the city in the black sludge, the edges of which pillowed and told bobless contents until it looked as though a cloud of black smoke had solidified. solidified. It's a horrid sight to behold, it's part because of the earth rage, also captured many victims in pe pe perpetuity. Grey casts of ancient humans still stand and to this day, poised in a manner most likely like pairs shaking hands, one looking over a stove, another petting a dog. Of course, the whole wholly within men's nature to see such relics of destruction, um, distant and distant as they are from reality, flock to its remains. And various revived the violence through moans of faith. Followers of the guild, the see it as a warning to not fall the, to the profligacies and greed. Northerners see it as a clasp between old gods, rarity since the dawn of man. One faith or another, both reside here in mutual respect for those who live for a lot, who lies with a lot of specs for now, at least. Um, that's basically a reference to Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii. Um, interesting fact, Pompeii, like, they actually are, if you look at the archaeological record or anything about Pompeii, you will find that there are, um, what you basically call, they call them ghosts, or something similar to it. They're basically gaps in the ash, like in the ash layer, you'll find like these pockets. And historically they have poured a uh, plaster of Paris into these pockets to take cast, and you find people, you basically find, um, like, the silhouettes, the, the models of the people that were preserved in the ash that have vanished over time. Um because pyroplastic surges, which are basically the, the mixture of hot gas and ash, which blows down from mountains um, during eruptions, is very, very dangerous. Very scoldingly hot. It's, it's a, not a pleasant way to go. Right, we'll get some food. Uh, they've got another set of that, which is nice. We'll grab that. Tools, we're not doing great on, so I'll grab a little more tools. Right. Quickly as we're here. Uh, his stamina is good. And he's competent, so we'll give him a better set of armor. Actually, to be honest, 
it's only one point and not bothered by it. Uh, your stamina is not great. Okay. How's your fatigue looking? We'll give him that just to try it out. Yep. Nice bit of armor. Um, hoping for something a bit more dangerous. That would be really nice to have. Um, Warhammer would be nice to have. There's a ton of really nice stuff here. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of it is carried over into the general market. Ooh, a gladiator. Level 4 gladiator. He's got 51 daily upkeep and it's nearly basically nearly a 9,000 gold to hire. So cool. But, oh, he looks so cool. We could get another free uh, nomad. That'd be nice. Um, caravan guard. Level 2 cell sword might be useful. Uh, let's see what work we have. Hunt down what's terrorizing the region. Package delivery. Okay. Let's do what's hunting what's hunting the region. Hopefully it's going to be like hyenas or something like that. Something we can bait. It'd be nice if it wasn't snakes. I'm getting sick of fighting snakes. Okay, it is snakes. That's not great. Because the problem with snakes is you can't easily bait them. Which is annoying. Okay, but there's only... S no, I say that, I have to be careful what I say. Um, I say there's only six of them, but yeah. Six is more than enough pain for me. As this guy can demonstrate. Um... Right. Gonna take him out, gotta put him in. Okay, there's six of them. I'm gonna just charge straight up. I'm I'm not gonna give them the opportunity to pull me out of formation. Oh, my guys just can't hit at all. Let the, I'm going to let the snakes completely move. We have to be careful of that kill box. They'll pull us into a kill box if we're not careful. Um, what I might do... Actually, I can't because my bowmen have fired, so I can't pull back my firing line. Um, I will move him up. Everybody else, get ready. I wish Spear Wall would have more, an Im more of an impact against these things. What I could do is I could unleash a dog. Which would slow some of them down. They would focus on the dog. Like that. Okay, let's go and support him. I hate it when they do this. It's body armor's gone, so let's try and hit it in the head. I shouldn't have done that either. Okay. 
get down there to support. Get here and switch him out. Your hurts, you need to fall back. Your hurt, and you need to fall back. See, this is the thing I dislike. Their morale is weird because most creatures' morale would have like fizzled by now. So the effect, the ability that they're able to resist losing morale from taking so much damage, is overpowered, in my opinion. It's one of the things I heavily dislike about them, is that they just hold their morale so well when other when other factions would have suffered would have suffered morale break. Look how much blood has he got left in him. Yeah, I get it. It's one of the things with snakes I dislike. They just, their morale just never breaks. No matter what you do, it just never disappears. So it's become a real... It takes you It takes you doing tons and tons. Like, see, look, it's almost dead and it's only just about to... It's only just got a minor health, a minor morale tick against it. Yeah, that's... That's broken in my personal opinion I always fact I always think that um, after playing playing this DLC for a while I'm of the opinion that the snakes need to be tweaked they feel too overpowered for how much you pay to deal with them um, it's normally never worth the damage you take from fighting them to basically actually take jobs because they just you just take so many injuries from doing it. What's oh, this? Deliver a parcel. Okay. Two days by road. Over there. Okay, and that's fine. Okay, having dispatched yet another band of beasts, you find yourself pondering the nature of your ancestors. Here you are, organized, armed, and armored. World travelled, experienced in matters of war and combat, and yet the monsters of this world still serve to be as dangerous as ever. Your ancestors, what did they have? No civilization to blanket themselves under, no cities, no luck to light the night and warm the courage, no maps to give them comfort, comforting borders to the world, and yet they survived. What was it? How? Perhaps in these days, those days, it was man that was the threat, and the beast saw them, him, the monster, or perhaps. There were times before the ancients, times of when they had their own cities, all the world simply sifts in balance, beasts and man, since time immemorial. And if that is the case, then it's not the past you should dwell on, but the days of years and millennia to come. Right, so we completed that objective, and we are going to go here. With how much food we have... We've got three days worth of food. We have injuries, unfortunately. But fortunately, we do have the surgeon. Which means that they should get healed rather quickly. Uh, he leveled up. Excellent. More of that. More courage. Uh, 
more range defense. He is level five now. What do we want to take? Um, anticipation is always nice. Um, having him as a longbow is really nice. But I am tempted, I must admit, I am tempted to make him a crossbowman. Um, just because having crossbows do are really nice anti-armor weapons. So I always like to have one of them in my party. Um, interesting. So if we take that, he can use handguns. Rather than that's interesting. Yeah, I might grab that because I do want to play with the handgun mechanic. Um, so that would be good to have. Turn him into my hand gunner. We'll grab some food and then we'll go across country. This place got smashed up pretty bad. Ah, they have kennels. Uh, a little bit of food. It's expensive, I know. But right now, I just want enough to cover my track across the countryside. We lost the dog, which is a shame. But we can grab a couple more. Um, they're useful. I used them predominantly as like cannon fodder, if we're being honest. Um, useful for chasing down enemies. Useful for, like... Tying up enemies like snakes. Um, it's just a, a quick way of dealing with opponents. Right. They're chasing someone down. Probably bandits. And there is the uh, Fallen Star. We'll go and check it out. A cataclysm as the world knows it comes from the Earth herself. Volcanoes, floods, earthquakes, plagues, and all these things men fear. The unwarned insurances that can instantly satter the greatest of kingdoms and disrobe the royal color of the greatest of kings. The great, um, the great Gal Galdera before you then stands a stark reminder not only are you small but might not even know just how small you are. It is quite clear to even the simplest of minds that this enormous rock at the crater, center of the crater came from above. Perhaps very far above, northerners believe it is, it is the coda of, coda of the great war of the old gods, the literal mountain weaponized by the deities, thrown like a stone from a catapult for land in such a Apocalyptic damage that the horrors wrought ceased all heavenly conflict. It's nothing to see it as the fiery tear of the Gilder. Looking down upon the world without man, the, gear, the god fell into a deep sadness and cried, Upon the earth. At first he was fearful that he had destroyed all that lay below, but instead he watched as man drew up from the fires and armed himself in the ashes, and is that he end then that he was a man, he was the new man, living in every corner of the world, was his chosen beings, and man knew him. Whatever it is, the creator brings favor followers and believers from all directions. Here exists an am amicable understanding that this shall not be an impasse upon one another, though during times of religious war, that unspoken agreement is often sattered. Interesting. So that's where one of the other locations are. Um, yeah. There was no way, we, if we had fought for the southern kingdoms, like the southern city-states, there was no way we were going to be able to hold that. Because like one of the missions for the Holy for the holy Wars is to basically capture these locations and hold them against all attackers. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty hard considering it's bang slap in the middle of hostile territory. Um, so yeah. Not good. Not good at all. This place got trashed. Uh, leave it there to be delivered the parcel. They've been raided. They've been smashed up. Uh, food situation. Uh, a little bit of food. Um, what's this? Let's talk. Secure gatekeeper's rest. Uh, for that much, yeah. Why not? Where is it? Not there. 
your ambition, the vast religious turmoil threatened to engulf the lands, let the company be forged stronger than ever by the heat and flames and earn fortune by winning the war. Uh, unlikely. I mean, we can take it. Um, let's see. Have a character with roster with three star talent and three different attributes. So we have a character in your roster with three star talent and three different attributes. Traveller, the loud land seeking the best of the best, contributing higher the recruiter for your retinue of non combatants. That's interesting. Um, destroy four locations were set by undead to prove your company's prowess, whereas part of the contract by heading out on your own. That'd be nice. Picking either the noble houses or the southern states. Yeah, why not? We'll try it out. It's still raging. So no side is going. Pick either the northern houses or the southern states and work with them to win the holy war. Every army destroyed and every contract fulfilled will bring you closer to ending the war. Yeah, well. Ooh, that's that looks actually. This is something we need to be serious about for a second. So he's out. His injury. Okay, let's be serious about this because these guys are no joke. Um, he's cut up, so he's got not a lot of fatigue. He's got a pierced side. Um, this is this is worrying. Okay, we're going to switch out the... Sp You're going to have the spear. You're going to switch him for him. Okay. You can hold on to that for now. You're not fighting. Those two injuries are, too, are, are very severe. Nine of them. But there is an elite one, which is nasty. You have to remember with the big guys, with these guys, that they grow stronger the more they eat. So we need to weaken them. Okay. Um, you're going to get here, because they can't bypass this choke point. You're going to do that. Everyone is going to shield up like crazy. Um, you're going to get here. So are you. You're going to pull up here and fortify. Okay, where are they going to go? They're waiting for the big one to move. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay. Okay. This isn't this isn't actually very good. I was hoping. I was hoping for a better result than this. You're going to have to go here and buy us some time. Because we need to basically kill this guy as soon as possible. He's too dangerous to allow to um, function. Um, yeah, you need to get down here. You guys got that flank secure. He can deal with these two without any issue, really. Um, so I need to be pulling people to get to here. Right, he's dead. He can't get... That guy can't get on the body and eat it. They need to basically be within one hexagon to basically be able to do the cannibalistic ability of theirs. So, they'll go straight for it, but they shouldn't be able to reach. Um, 
Okay. You're going to get killed. That's not great. I am going to release the hound on him, though. The problem is they will feast, which means this thing will feast really quickly. Okay. I can't hit him. We've got to basically smash him in the head for everything we've got. He missed. We did not break their morale, unfortunately. Get here. Pin him in place. Excellent. Morale penalty is good. He did not break, unfortunately. The dog might be able to help us. The thing with ghouls is that the ghouls can become... Can, they basically have a cascade effect where if you're not careful they can be quickly become a massive problem um, I'm trying to get him some some of these guys some more experience really so let's kill that, that thing off right he leveled up fantastic um, his that fatigue is bad. Up his weapon skill. Um, up his morale. I'll also start upping his uh, range defense, especially against stuff like goblins. Okay, so he's got that. Rally. Uh, Relentless is useful. Fortified mine for him would be great. Iron will will not be swayed from true path. Easily resolves increased by 25%. Yeah, for him, that means that when we do this ability now, um, yeah, see, see here, triggers a morale check to rally fleeing allies within four tiles. With bonus resolve of 32 based on the character's resolve. Triggers a morale check to raise the morale of anyone wavering by 32, yeah based on the character so but lowered by 10 points per tile distant so this is really good the higher we can get this the more the more things we can stack with him on this the more powerful he will be um yes very good so we cleared that out let's go and turn this in access to this to that war is interesting i doubt we'll be able to do anything though Yeah, see there. Facts and contract for the Civil War. I bet you that's what it is. Um, not that we can really do anything. Um, so what is there anything interesting? Recipes here. Antidotes. White and blue paint scheme. I'll make some more serpents stuff, which is nice. Contract available. You find Baron... Lionhard von Harkin talking with his lieutenants. He has two stacks of chips, each one higher than the other. He takes from the taller stack and puts it in the smaller. And if I allotted this many, the lieutenant takes his head. That is precisely what the southerners want. If we draw men from the front line, they will surely know and use it as a time to attack. All men suddenly look up at you, Baron. Baron von Harkin grins. Ah, it seems our savior is none other than this mercenary. Oh, I dare say a sellsword may take care of this for us. You, you there, Captain, need fighters to stay around the Gunnar to defend it from southern saboteurs and raiders. That's a lot of money. And that's going to be a level... That's, that would be us fighting against probably elite city troops. 
and I am not going to do that because I haven't got a death wish. And this is the thing: is that a lot of the a lot of the like the worst crises and the crises in the game, in my personal opinion, the ones that are like really dangerous to fight in, marching all around the world has put some wear and tear on the men. One man peels the flesh off his toe and says he regrets doing that, and you nod. All in all, this place is the price to pay for being out on the road. Next stop ain't far, you hope your man can sustain it. Yeah, light wounds. We did a lot of walking, so our gear is tired. Fortunately, we have a cook, so our injuries, our light injuries, won't take so long to recover. Um, interesting. I, ref I was expecting the fortresses to basically be repaired by now. Are they going to be coming after us? Yeah, they're hunting for us. That sucks. Oh well. It is how it is. We just go somewhere else for work. I was hoping to get to one of the city-states, but alas, it was not to be. We'll head back up here and go to up here. But as I was saying, yeah, the crises, events, um, the out of the four that they have in the game, two of them are, are like monster based with one being orcs or one being green skins and one being undead with the other one being uh, the civil war between the noble houses up here and the religious war and um, personally I find out of them out of the four of them the human ones are the hardest because the human factions tend to be the most powerful and as such it is unlikely we're going to see a lot of stuff because in this game, if you go up against a really powerful force, you will just get swiped. You will just get completely wiped out of the face of existence, which is not fun. Um, but that is how it is. Um, if you want to follow, please press the follow button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscribe button. You can leave a comment in the comment section and get, get back in contact with you. And this has been Battle Brothers Blazing Deserts DLC, and I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye!